Coming up now, the bronze medal match in the women's individual recurve tournament here in Colombia. And we're going to take a look at how the athletes got here. Losing in the semi finals is uh, often difficult, but Sugimoto uh, Tomomi came through in 7-3 uh, against Wu Jin, but then lost out 6-0 to Kang in uh, the semi-finals. And she goes up against Lan Lu, who had a 7-1 defeat against Melanie Gobel in her semi-final. So it's Tomomi and Lan for bronze here in the individual women's recurve. You can see the flags, they're not really fluttering at all. Our wind meter says the wind is blowing almost directly from the targets towards the shooting line. But uh, the flag's really not fluttering at all. And you can see from the, the crowd, it's steamy. It's, it's just under 30 degrees, so it's not super, super hot, but it's really humid here and we're in a sort of bowl like valley uh, surrounded by the Andes and as you look up onto the slopes and the uh, uh, city is an absolutely beautiful one with uh, little towns pockets of uh, buildings all the way around us a city of flowers it's known as but uh, we want to see some archery Let's welcome the athletes for this bronze medal match out onto the field of play. Recibamos con un fuerte aplauso a los equipos que disputarán la medalla de bronce en la ronda individual de recurvo femenino. En el blanco número uno, representando a Japón, Sugimoto Tomomi. Well, it's uh, Tomomi Sugimoto from Japan on target one, Lan Lu on target two. And here we see uh, the career matchups. Uh, Sugimoto with a nine average arrow, so it's slightly better than Lan. Sugimoto shot a 6-4-6 in the ranking round to be ranked 13th and had to fight her way through the field. Lan shot a 6-5-9, so was ranked third. And it will be Sugimoto to shoot first. So this for the bronze medal in the women's individual recurve. So as the higher ranked archer, Lan Lu had the opportunity to shoot first or second, and she chose to shoot second which is a little odd, I guess. Um, but I, I also could see how she's been on this field before, and then she wants to have a little bit more pressure for her other teammate to know, you know, you don't know what I'm going to do, so. Well, as you can see, uh, they shoot three arrows in uh, the individual competition. Alternately. So a 24 set for Lan. And 
27 that she gets. So the two set points, two first set points go to the Chinese athlete. They shoot over five sets, the first to six points. And of course, it can all be done and dusted in just three sets. Cuando tenemos un viento de 2.1, 1.5 metros por segundo en la tarde de hoy. Uh, it's, it's strange here that just one arrow can make a, a big diff, such a big difference, but it really does in these tight formats, especially just with three arrows, Mackenzie. Yeah, it looks like a really good shot from her, really confident, so maybe she's just, just you know, sighted in for the practice field, which is facing a different direction, like we've talked about, um, in different conditions, so... I think she's dialed in now. She had her last two arrows hit right next to one another, so I think she's going to be ready for this end. So trailing, it will be Sugimoto to shoot first. Something that's interesting about the Chinese archer is her uh, her ring finger that's pulling the string back. It's just barely on the string. Um, I don't know if she starts with it on the string and it slowly slides off, but it is just barely hanging on by a thread. On the line, score a 10. But a big opportunity for Tomomi Sugimoto to strike straight back. A 10 will do this. But she pulls an 8. So now an opportunity for Lan. A 9, and she'll share the set points. A 10, and she'll take. First four, and she has indeed taken the opportunity. 28 plays 27. Sugimoto opened the door, and Lan marched straight through it. She leads 4 0 in the bronze medal match. Mackenzie, we've seen some strange <laughs> arrows here in Colombia. Yeah, I, it very may well be that it's just the first World Cup of the year and everybody's just a little tousled by this final sphere. Yeah, but when it mattered, Sugimoto lands the 10. That was uh, actually Lan's arrow. Uh, Lan, her sorry, her Lan. final X really nicely placed shot. Um, Maybe they're just figuring it out. I'm not. I'm yeah. not too sure. I mean, you've had a, a relatively long break, but I, I mean, I've heard from you and a lot of the other athletes that uh, you've actually taken the opportunity to train really hard in the off season. So it's not like you've taken a break and you're a bit rusty. Uh, it's it's been unusual, but I think the wind has played a little part in that. Anyway, it's uh, Sugimoto to shoot first. She's trailing by four set points to nil, and really has to strike back here advantage to Lan because all she needs to do is match Sugimoto to take the set point she needs for victory. So unlike uh, team rounds, in the individual rounds, you're going for six points to win the match. Um, again, you can do it in three straight sets, um, but if each archer gets five set points, then we would go to a shoot off closest to center. Well, Lan adjusting on the first arrow that went right, and she's pulled it left. So, another opportunity presents itself for Sugimoto. The 9-10 liner, I think, will have the, the judge call that down at the, at the other end of the field. 
Well, as you suggested, it's going to go to a measure, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, a 10 just uh, means she's taken the set by two points. A nine, she's taken the set anyway. So she's got on the scoreboard, but still trails. It's Lan, still in pole position here in the bronze medal match in the women's individual recurve here in Colombia. <laughs> We talked about the, the glare, uh, the cloud has come over a little bit, but actually the, light, the lighting conditions are still quite tricky, and that's why we see Sugimoto with those glasses, uh, they're quite reflective those ones. I think she actually shoots in those no matter what the lighting is. So I think it, they may be a prescription lens, or she's just really comfortable shooting in sunglasses. Part of her process. Part of it. Well, she's up on the line, still trailing. We go into the fourth set here. Sugimoto of Japan to shoot first. That's a good way to start this, uh, this fourth act. She saw Sugimoto's second arrow go into the nine. She's taken the opportunity to draw level. Over to Sugimoto to apply the pressure. And she does so duly. 29 out of a possible 30. Pressure on Lan here. She has to get a perfect 10 to share the set points. And it's a nine. So we're all square at four apiece. After four sets, Sugimoto of Japan against the land of China for the bronze medal in the women's individual recurve. When I look back over the end, I mean, all pretty uh, close to that in the nines and tens. Uh, it looks like Sugimoto has a little bit better grouping. Maybe the nine was just a little bit of a mistake arrow. Um, Lan Lu, she has two that are low left that are together, and then another nine out right. So, again, maybe a mistake arrow, but um, still really good shooting at 28 and 29 in, in finals matches. Is really impressive shooting. At, at 70 meters, they stand 70 meters away from that target, and they're hitting uh, a, a, a distance that, or a, a target center, which is no bigger than uh, what, 10, 12 centimeters. Really small margins. So the deciding set in the women's individual bronze medal match on Recurve Sunday here in Medellin. <laughs> High and right. And eyes will widen again. Capitalizes, and that's possibly the closest arrow to the spider we've seen in this match. Pretty good answer back. Eight nine liner again. We're gonna have to have a judge look at that one. So all level it's down to this one arrow now. From each archer. Sugimoto corrected from the high right of the first arrow to get two tens. The pressure is really on now. 
nine. Well, currently 27. Now, go to a measure on the second arrow of land. If that gets marked up, then we're all level again and we'll have a shoot off. Yes. But uh, Sugimoto celebrating already. And that is the indication from the judge, and it is clear that Sugimoto has won. Well, well done to her. She is the bronze medalist. Tomomi Sugimoto takes it coming from behind by four set points to zero to win six four over lan of china congratulations to momi sugimoto